Okay, here are the notes. Uh, we've done problems like this. Uh, really, you're not going to see uh, anything new except just the information that's presented. And again, we're, you, we're working with the right triangles and we're working with trigonometry. Okay, so it's going to say once again, we had an assignment that said solve each triangle. Right, solve each triangle. And again, this means to, when it says to solve the triangle, that means to find, find all missing parts. Right, so any missing angles, right, parts, you got angles. And then you got sides. You got to make sure you, you just call them all out, name them all. And that's what it means to solve the triangle. Okay, so we've done this before. Here's number one. All right, as far as math, math, nothing new. Here's what you're going to see today. You have a right triangle. 90 degrees, of course. Angle C, angle A. So it's triangle ABC. And all they're going to tell you is one side... Actually, they're just going to give you two sides. Remember before they used to give you like an angle and a side? Okay. So actually what you're going to do is, um, you know, we got to find everything. I don't have any angles. I have nothing to start with here, but we'll, we'll talk about that later. But see how you have already two sides? Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do sides here or the missing side here. And then over here, I'll do the angles, right? So, so let's start with one missing side. I'm almost there. This one's done. I, I just need one missing side. We've done this before, right? So we've done this before. You don't need to know the angles. If you already have two out of three sides, right? If this is 14 and this is 8, how do you find this missing side? And this would be... Uh, if this is angle B, this is side B, right? This would this is angle B, right opposite of it is side B. Okay. So before on the other problems, you only had one side and an angle. You didn't have two sides. But now that you have two sides, you can use what? Pythagorean theorem. Pythagorean theorem. And that is what? Well, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Remember that? If you already know two sides out of three, that's the reason you use Pythagorean theorem. Only on a right triangle. If you're already given two sides, you use this uh, formula to find the missing side. So this is going to be what? Well, this is already like b, right? This is my side B, so let's make this one A and let's make this one C, right? C is always the hypotenuse one. So I got what? A squared is going to be 8 squared plus. Actually, I. Yeah, well, that's fine. Plus B squared equals 14 squared. Yeah. Okay. And what do we got here? Let's see. 14 squared, I believe, is 196. Oh, it is. 196. 8 squared is what? 8 squared is 64. That's 8 times 8. B squared. B squared plus 64 equals 196. Well, subtract 64. Subtract 64, 196, take away 64, it's going to be 132. It's going to be B squared equals 132. Oh, well, I just need to find the value of B, so we take the square root of both sides, right? B squared, 132, so B 
right? The square root of b squared is b is equal to whatever the square root of 132 is. So let's just get that value here. Right, let's see, 132. Oh no, I gotta put the square root key first. Square root of 132. 11.48. 11.48. But I think they're actually rounded. I'm gonna put 11.49, but I think they put 11.5. That's fine, that's close enough. So I got B is equal is equal to 11 point, remember make it look like money, $11.48, so this will kind of round it up, 11.49. Okay, found my value of B. We'll come back to this later, okay? But that was the only missing side, got it. If you're already given two sides, and you just have to find the third, I, you don't need trigonometry, you don't need any angles. We use the Pythagorean theorem, right? Okay, so I'm done with the sides. I found that one missing side. There was only one missing. Okay, we'll come back to that. Now, for the angles. This is like uh, the previous assignment. For the angles, uh, let me copy what I have here. I have, um, this is eight and this is 14. And let me find, let me, I just need to find one angle, right? Let's just find, uh, uh, let's say this is angle B, right? So I'm going to put the little angle symbol right there. All right, right here is angle B. Okay, and remember this is what we, we did in the previous assignment. We How to find the measure of an angle. All right, again. I know we just found this side, but don't use it because what if you got this one wrong, right? That's why I want you to just go back and use this, or go back to the original one and use the two that are given because what if you got this one wrong and we don't want to use that. And plus, we only need two anyways. Okay, so let's just stick with the ones that are given for sure. Um, and this is where we label the hypotenuse. That's a hypotenuse side. This would be the opposite side, but we're not using that side, so it's the A and the H. A and the H would be what? Soka or Toa? Ka. A and the H. And then we're going to put what? Well, C is for cosine of the angle is equal to A over H. And that's going to be cosine of the angle is equal to A, 8 over h14 and again this is not when you don't this is where you don't set up a proportion when you're trying to find the angle measure you don't set a proportion this is where you have to use those inverse since it's the angle that you're trying to find remember that's when you got to use that co the inverse function so to get rid of to undo cosine i'm going to do the inverse of this side and I got to do the inverse of this side. And that's what gets rid of this cos cosine inverse and cosine will cancel each other out. You get the angle is equal to whatever cosine inverse of 8 over 14 is. All right, let's see what that is. That's going to be second function cosine inverse. Remember, we got to use the zoom in here. The inverse is this one here, this little one here. So you can't just use the you can't just use the cosine button. You got to do hit the second the blue function here, this button and. There's your inverse. Cosine inverse of what is it? 8 over 14. 8 divided by 14. Close the parentheses. And there it is. 55.15. 55.15. Okay, so they might round it off like here. So they might put, you know, 
I, I kind of make it look like money, but they just won't. They just have it like this, 55.2, right? So the, that five bumps that one up to a two. All right. So now, I mean, honestly, I already found that one missing side. And honestly, you only have to kind of find the one angle, right? Let's go back to our picture over here. Go back to our picture. And what did we just find? Oh, that's not our picture. This one, the very first one, right? We didn't. We needed to find this side, and that was what? 11.49, but I'm telling you they're going to round it off. So they'll, they'll put 11.5 right here, which is correct. This is side B. This is the missing side that we found. And are we done? No. I got the three, uh, I got the three sides, but what about the three angles? Well, I know this one's 90. I don't have to find that one. I just found this one, angle B right over here right we just found this one we found angle b was oh why didn't i put b oh well that that was the angle right angle b right here down here 55.2 degrees let's put it over here this one is 55.2 degrees and now we just need to find one more well, remember what I said about the, these, these triangles that have a 90 degrees? If this one's 90 degrees, then these two have to add up to 90 degrees, right? Because this 90 plus these two 90, these, are, these two are going to have to add up to 90. We know that these three add up to what? The, it'll add up to 180. 90 plus 90 is an 80, is 180. So if this one's 90, these two have to add up to 90. So if this and this has to add up to 90, what do I simply do here to find this angle? Just do 90, right, they add up to 90. 90 minus, 90 minus what, 55.2? 34.8. Well, that means this one's 34.8 degrees. Okay, so here when you check your answer, they put all the answers on the picture, right? So when you check your answer, see so I have it here, I'm going to show you, right? Remember this, 34.8, 55.2, 11.5. All right, here it is, look, ready? See, that's the answer, that's the answer key on the paper. 11.5, 34.8, 55 .8, 55.2, and let me scoot it over. Oh, look, there it is. 11.5, 34.8, 55.2. And that's what it means to solve the triangle. You find all, well, find the missing side, and then you're gonna find the missing angles. But again, you really only have to use the trigonometry to find one of them. And then you just you just use regular geometry, knowing that these two add up to 90. Because this one's 90, these two add up to 90, and you can do sim simple subtract, right? This one, you got it by doing what? 90 minus 55.2. Right? Or you can check. You can add these two, and you'll see they add up to 90. Okay, I'll do another one more example on the next video.